All right, for this last problem, problem five of the chapter eight FEP highway design homework, um, it's a two lane rural highway with a design speed of 60 miles per hour that passes through a forested area with a site obstruction located 20 feet from the center line of the inside lane. The lane widths are 12 feet. Inadequate sight distance has been blamed for some accidents when drivers are negotiating a five degree curve. We're gonna calculate M to check if there's a problem, and if so, what could be changed? So let's start off by looking at the formula sheet, remembering what M is defined as, and we have this nice drawing here of that horizontal sight distance, where M is defined as the um, distance from the edge of that obstruction to the center of the inside lane, and we find that using these components. In the 2018 Ashto Green Book, um, that variable M is now called HSO, <laughs> which is the horizontal uh, sight line offset. But if we look at our drawing here, um, it looks the same. It's from that center line to the edge there. Um, another difference is that this drawing um, just uses the radius of the curve. Um, so we have an R here that represents the radius of the curve. When we've been doing these calculations, we've been using a small r which is the radial distance from the center of the curve to the middle of the inside lane. So instead of using small r here, uh, the new Ashto uh, 2018 Green Book uses a capital R here. Um, we'll solve it with the small r because that's what we've got on our handout, but I'll show you there's also a new chart that you can use to solve for that HSO, same as M, and we'll see how that lines up with what we calculate. So just drawing this with the variables that we're using, Got that on here. Uh, so here's my situation where I've got my obstruction 20 feet away from the center line of the inside lane. All right, and I'm trying to figure out uh, what that M actually is. Okay, we want to make sure that we'll have that distance. Um, and so in this case, my radius is the 18,000 over pi times the curve of that road. So that's 1146. Um, my little r, which I'm solving for here, is that radius minus that uh, halfway to that inside lane, so 12 feet over 2, 1140. And my stopping site distance s, I can get from my stopping site distance um, with my uh, velocity table, 60 miles per hour, I'll get a stopping site distance of 570. So when I plug all those values into my M or HSO equation, um, I wind up with uh, 35.4 for my M value, which is greater than that 20 feet that was given in the problem. So there is a site distance problem. All right, that 35.4 is greater than the 20 feet that's given, so there's a sight distance problem. The question is, what could be changed? Uh, we have a lot of choices. We could remove or relocate the obstacles, if possible. Uh, we could change the speed limit, right? When we change the speed limit, that's going to change our uh, stopping sight distance as well. So if we think about changing that speed limit, um, what speed would make that okay? So I plug in a couple different values here. Let's go ahead first and try uh, 40 miles per hour. If we use 40 miles per hour, look that up, our stopping site distance would be 305 feet, and then our M would only be 10.2. So that's uh, definitely less than the 20. Or we could try 50 miles per hour, which gives us a stopping site distance of 425 feet. Our M is 19.8. That seems like a good solution since we're looking for 20 feet there. Another way of tackling this problem is to use that new chart in the Ashto Green Book. So we're trying to figure out what first what that value is of M is for that 60 mile per hour speed limit. So for here, we've got nice um, graph here where we've got our 60 mile per hour that correlates right with our stopping site distance. So if V is 60, S is the 570, which we used before, so we're on this line. Okay, we know that radius that we were able to calculate um, from that curve. Remember, it was that 1146 uh, value. So we're just going to use that whole 1146 value. We come over here. Uh, here's my 1,000. So 1146 is just, and this is 2,000. We're just going to be 
just above that uh, uh, line here of the 1,000. And so, yeah, we're going to be right around that value that we got of 35.4. We're right around that 35 line. Um, if we think about where 1164 would hit around there. And then we want to actually make sure that that M would be equal or less than to 20. So we'll come over here to our 20 line for our HSO, which is our new term for M. And we'll come up the 20 and see where we get close to that 1146 radius. Okay, and so as we get over here, yeah, we can see that V equals 50 line. Looks like it's getting pretty close right in there to that 1146. So that would be a good place to start with the S equals 425. So a little bit faster way to come up with the numbers to use, but not quite as exact as plugging these numbers in to get those exact values.